Hello, Simmers. This is Cool Oldster, and this is Old Town. Featuring the Goths. Good morning, Simmers. It's Cool Oldster. Today I'll be playing the Goths and the Pleasants in my second LP of Old Town. Ready? Here we go. Well, you may notice that there's a birthday cake. Um, the whole family is here. The company's in the other room. And we have 13 minutes to get Alex to the cake. Will it happen? Let's see. I don't know about this. Lighting. It's a party. Uh, he's aging up without the cake. Oh no. Well, we tried. All right, Cass. What, what's going on? All right. And the Pleasants are here. And the Goth Seniors. As Cass. It looks like um, Michael Bachelor came over. I don't think he was invited, but that's okay. He can crash the party. All right, let's see if we have a cutscene. Or what? Come on, Alex. Let's see what you're gonna look like. Oh, it worked. Mama wasn't invited, huh? Right. And these two are going strong. Um, here is Cornelia. I don't know that I've shown you her. I like her hairstyle. She is, of course, um, Mortimer's mom. Her sister. He's a college professor, as he is in Sims 1. And she just kind of gardens and takes care of the cats and paints a lot. They pretend they're rich, but it's really her sister's money that keeps them afloat. So um, the Goths are supposed to be rich, but as you notice, this house isn't too fancy, so got to be some kind of a glitch in the story somewhere. All right, so let's see. Party time, good time. Everybody's chit-chatting. Why don't you, oh my gosh. Please relieve him. Maybe call him over. I know um, that uh, she wants to be friends with him, so why don't you talk to him? Why don't you perform jazz? I think jazz would be a good thing to perform. With your grandparents and Daniel. Will Daniel end up being married to your best friend and you hate him for what he does? Or who knows? Oh, look. Her are giving her a tip. That's a little weird, but whatever. All right, what's everybody else doing? Oh, uh, flirting and being too good. And he's showing off his little headstand. Um, okay, let's... No, I don't want to change the pants. I just want you to dress... Plan outfit. All right. That's not bad. It's not the greatest, but yeah, it's fine for now. I'm I'm gonna change it up 
to what it was supposed to be. Actually, you know what? It's a roof razor. They're all having fun. Let's just change his appearance and buy him clothes and make him the Alexander that he's supposed to be. Okay, meanwhile, she's doing all this to impress her parents. But where's Daniel? Let's go over and meet Daniel. Oh, I'm appreciating. Wait, call over. Yep. See if he likes it or thinks it's weird. Let's entertain just in case. Like, ha ha ha, but it's a joke. Let's see what he does next. After the gussy up. All right, well, he needs glass. I'm going to keep the hairstyle. I think it's adorable. better than the weirdo hairstyle. Um, let's see his eyebrows. Yeah, I like these kind of the ones with the little zits and all. I'm not sure his face is going to turn out like the Alexander in Sims 2, but this is, you know, kind of an experiment. outfit that he was wearing. And here we go. Yeah. He looks like Pugsley Adams. There he is. There's the Alexander I know and love except for the cool hair. Here, let me see. Here. I'm not putting him in underwear or buying underwear. Yeah, they're all like I think this ACR is a little bit strong or something. They're all really into each other. Now let's see how her feelings are. Well, she has one one um hold for Daniel, so that's I guess that's okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna bring Don in till at least she's a grown up. I just don't see the point. Okay, be a good daughter and clean this mess up. So the party was a roof raiser. And let's see what he does. I just love Alex as a kid. He's so cute. And I wish we had more time with him in The Sims too. She's going to go grab him and kiss him up the arm. I mean, honestly, these folks are a lot like the Adams family, where Morticia and is it Gomez, they used to do this all the time, and they kind of live in a morbid type house, and they have a son and a daughter, except he's Alex instead of Pugsley, and she's Cassandra instead of Wednesday. He's like, give me attention, Mom and Dad. Well, he likes it. She doesn't care. She's just... Oh, my God. That's all she wants to do. And she wants to influence people. That's kind of odd. All right. Um, I think I need to go do some redecorating. Oh, the family's all here, and she wants to say, I got a scholarship, Dad. Be proud of me. So, yeah, he is, he's going to encourage her, her seriousness. He 
Because he likes the fact that she's smart and stunning. Oh, this is very cute. What a cute family. All right. We are going to come back after I redecorate and make the house suitable for Alex the kid. All right, Simmers, here we are. So this is how I redecorated Cass and Alex's bedroom. I gave Cass a, a kind of makeover on her bed that kind of reflects who she's becoming and gave her a little wallpaper around kind of her section of the room, gave her this uh, goth bed table and, and um, candle. And then for Alex, I gave him this bed with the Sims 1 cover. And this is a Sims 1 reproduction. And this looks like the light he had in the Sims 2. And then I put the toys here, the dresser kind of in the middle, and the, the um, easel kind of in the middle. Originally, what I wanted to do is take the roof off here and add out, because I always would do that in The Sims 1. But I haven't figured out how to take off the roof here without taking off the whole roof. So I didn't want to mess with that, so I did it this way which is one reason they can't have another kid. I mean, come on, unless they get a bigger house. All right, here is another little change I made. Uh, I took the, they had a big table with three chairs. So I gave them this table and these chairs are reproductions of chairs in The Sims 1 and can fit them all. So I hope this suits their family a little bit better. All right, so maybe they can all have a piece of cake and then go to bed and not that they need cake. All right, go ahead folks, why is he running? Are they too into each other to eat cake? Very good, very good. All right, um, so you can clean that up, and Bella, you clean this up, or eat it, and Cass, clean this up, and Alex, stop running around. Here, walk, skip here, go here, okay. Um, all right, folks, he's tired. She's a little bit. Mm. I think I'm going to get re them ready for bed, and then we will see them in the morning. Good morning, Mortimer. This is what you want to be doing first thing in the morning, is plunging out the toilet before the family's up. Poor Mortimer. Meanwhile... Cassandra's sleeping. Uh, she needs to get up shortly, but I noticed something about her. Uh, she didn't sneak out with Eldon, but that's mainly because her brother had a party last night. She still wants to go to college. She wants to continue her creativity, I'm assuming on the piano, which she seems to like. But she wants to buy a ballet bar. And when I looked at her hobby, her true hobby is sports. I don't know if ballet helps. And honestly, without a cheat, I'm not sure that I could put a bar. I'm going to see if I can. All right, I got to do move objects because otherwise it will definitely not work. But let's see. Okay, well, it's under sports, right? Let's see if she can use this. Okay, she achieved that need. Let's see if she can do a little warming up before she goes to school. What the 
else does she want a drum kit? Yeah, we definitely don't have room for that. Okay. Well, she can use it. Alright. What's this guy doing? Get up! It's time. Let's see, he wants, oh god. Alright, come here. You're gonna jump rope. Um, because we have, we have enough P&O enthusiasts. Come on, jump rope. Mortimer has finished plunging the toilet and has hygiene needs. What a surprise. And then Miss Bella is still sleeping. All right, Miss Bella. And she just wants to influence people to do things. Okay, now, I do remember... Okay, she doesn't have work today, so let her sleep. And he doesn't either. Okay. I do remember that she doesn't have any vacation days. He has one. So the next time they have work on the same day. Um, actually, we don't need to get a babysitter because they're both going to go to school. Okay, cool. That works out. All right. Um, go take your bath. Let's see if this increases your sports enthusiasm. You're pretty bad, Cass. Pretty bad. Wow. But if you enjoy it, who cares? All right. Oh, he's into music and dance. That's interesting. All right. Um, bye. Go. Maybe he would like the ballet bar. Go to school. And does he have work? Nope. Oh, that's right. Neither of them do. Really. I'm losing it, folks. I'm losing it. <laughs> that's what happens when you get old. Although... It's better than the alternative. Okay, body scum. I don't think she's gotten any improvement in sports, though. Okay. Well, but she got a body skill, so there's that. Uh-oh. Let's see what these two are doing on their day off. What a shocking surprise. They are casual makeout, okay? At least they're in their own bed, and they're not naked on the couch in the yard like Mama. like, I'm done. Let me answer the phone. Uh, yes, Mortimer's here. Oh, she's answering the phone. Go do your favorite thing. Okay, so this is Brad Burb. Okay, good. And he's hungry and Bella's wanting to Okay, you know what? Influence him to make a meal. Since you want to influence people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can keep her um, desires focused on Mortimer. Honestly, in my Sims 1, they were all over each other as much as they can be. You know what? Oh, look. I think we have lettuce. Uh, okay, tend water. Um, Bella, I think I'm going to send you to the store to get some groceries. Oh, look. Look 
who came up. Hold on. Old town. Okay. So I think she can get some things there. Okay. Before she leaves, Cassandra is going to call her over, entertain, and play. Let's follow Bella as she goes get to get groceries and perhaps meet someone. Well, Bella's arrived at the garden center. And here's Agnes. Wait, why is she telling her a dirty joke? I don't know. I guess she feels really comfortable with her. And show you Agnes. This is Cornelia's sister. Notice who she looks like. You know, Mrs. Crumplebottom, ha huh, ha. Huh. Whoops. Oh, I like her. I don't like playing with her that much because she's kind of boring, but I like her. All right, have your conversation with your husband's aunt telling her a dirty joke which she seemed to like and then let's just talk to her normally let's gossip with her oh T Tiffany's like one of her best friends she's good friends with Agnes so yeah who's this we don't oh you're garden people Oh, I think she's gossiping about Eldon. Oh, maybe she doesn't really like him for her daughter. I mean, I could see why. He's literally from the wrong side of the tracks. He is a slob. He's totally different than Cass. But Bella, you gotta know, he's better than Don. Don is really, truly awful. All right, let's see. Um... Let's get some frozen food. And maybe some fresh food. All right, let's do half frozen. Not a big frozen food person, but Bella is all about the convenience. She's like, I'm coming down to this farmer's market and buying my family some fresh food. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, that's weird. Maybe she'll have too much food for the fridge. She's getting home and out of this downpour. Right, Bella? Bye. Whoops. Well, amazingly, it is not raining here, even though the farm market is only a mile or two away. All right, Bella. And see who's hungry. She is. So serve dinner. How about broccoli and chicken with pasta? She's awful hungry, that's for sure. Yeah, these counters look so run down. And this stove is really vintage. Uh, but I imagine that this is what an old kitchen would look like. I am going to fix one thing right now that's bugging me. I don't know. Yes, I can recolor it. Okay. I, I kind of like that better than the white. Well, now let's go with white. All right. 
don't know why um, Maxi EA, whoever, has such a fascination with green kitchen things. It's just weird. I hate the green kitchen counters and the green fridge and all that. This is one of the custom foods that I have. I don't have a lot, but I like pasta, so here we go. All right, Bella, call your family for dinner. Like the nice domestic goddess that you are. Where is she going with that? Is there a table out here? clean it up. That was just bizarre that she walked all the way around the house to put it here. All right, call it a meal household. Oh. Bella, clean this up and get another plate, because obviously that did not fill you up. He's not hungry, so that's fine. Are you kissing that Elden boy? Mom, help me! I don't want to talk about my personal life. Mom! Bella? Okay. Are you kissing mom? Yeah, the usual teenage smart aleck reply. Bella's just eating and not talking about it. <laughs> what was that? A burp and a growl? Bella's talking about her job, which is in, no, it's not Bella, show business. Right now, she's a birthday party mascot, but she's, she's got to step it up a little bit. And Cass is, like, encouraging her mom. Look, you can get one of those award things if you do better in your job. Being a birthday party mascot is embarrassing, Mom. He's like, I'm staying out of this. Mom, read me a story. Oh, she's going to bed. All right. Dad, no. Dad, read me a story. Get off the toilet and read me a story. He's like, oh, forget it. I'm going to sleep. Mortimer's like, let me see if Bella's still up. Nah, I'm going to sleep. So Cass is like, hmm. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to sneak out. I've wanted to sneak out for a while. Oh, wait, I moved the phone. Sorry. Ooh, sneak out. going this way. I'm going to walk around the entire house rooting. I 
I don't feel like it's a whole lot better in The Sims 4. Maybe it is. I think she'll just do that and then nap until it's time to go. Okay, well, the rest of them are sleeping. Got an hour, a little over an hour. Is this too close? Is that why they can't walk around? That's just weird. Huh. No. Oh, my plant's almost ready. See what Elden comes up with. It better be a little crappy. Cr oh, it is. Perfect. All right. Let's see if she sneaks out in her PJs. He's like, come on. I, I stole this car because my mama keeps spending all our money and, and it's got to be a quick, fun night. All right. Bye. Up. Oh. There she is. Not caught. And she fulfilled her need. Yay. Now she wants to be struck by lightning. These goths are weird. All right. Well, she fulfilled fulfilled her need. So now we're leaving the Goths and going to see what's happening with the Pleasants. Actually, folks, we are going to play the Pleasants separately. Bye!